Hey, it's your name is Tati back again with another video. In today's video, we will be doing another analyzing with Oh Your Name Tati of The Flash season one, episode 20. Let's get right into it. I feel like I've done episode 20 a lot, but there was a lot of key parts. So, let's get it. This is so trippy, like Marty in the Polaroid trippy. Pause. We're gonna pause like five seconds into this haul. Now, if Caitlyn is the one that said, not as trippy as the name on the byline, meaning that in future, in the future, bitch, that West Island was always destined to be together, and Caitlyn was the one that said, wouldn't you think something? Wouldn't you think, why did I just do that? <laughs> Wouldn't you think that because Caitlyn is saying it, there is no chance for Snowberry in hell? There's not one chance for Snowberry. Not as trippy as the byline. She didn't have not one inkling of jealousy, envy, hatred, pain, hurt. This bitch just like shocked, like, wow. He talks about Iris all the time to me. We talk about her all the time. <sighs> Barry's getting his wish. Like, she don't look mad. So is that article still gonna come? No, because the time jump. I forgot. Because the uh, arrow verse. You know, because every crisis, every crossover was about arrow. Oh, yeah, Eddie. I forgot. I'll be forgetting about Eddie pooching. He be pooching, girl. Yes. He was cute, too. Pause. Joe was never a good dad. Why am I realizing this? He only said no on the benefit of Barry. Even though he said like, oh, Iris is going to be miserable being married to him because she married the wrong guy. But, but in retrospect, bitch. Ooh. But in retrospect. But in reality, bitch. Like, Joe was, Joe was really never a good dad to Iris. Because... And, you know, he may say, like, oh, the reason why I told Eddie no is because she's going to be miserable and find out that she married the wrong guy, but she'll stay anyway because these hoes ain't loyal, but Iris is. And uh, Shut the fuck up, Joe. You was lying. You only told him no because you knew that he wasn't the right man, and Barry was. Like, let's be really real. He been team West Allen. Since, uh, since Barry was age 11. Like, let's be really real. Like, you been plotting on your daughter, and that's disgusting. Like, Joe is not a good dad, and I don't know why we didn't realize this. Maybe we, we, we were so stuck on West Allen and Joe being, like, the number one West Allen fan just, like, roped us in. I don't know what it is. Why didn't we ever realize that Joe was a terrible father? Why didn't we realize that, girl? Oh, I know why. Because the at the at the time in season one, two, and three, the Flash actually came second to family and Barry and Iris' relationship. Yeah, because Barry wasn't the Flash that we know in the comic books in season one, two, and three. He was still like learning and you know trying to get faster and stuff like that. So the show was definitely about family. And Barry and Iris and, you know, whatever villain from the future is trying to threaten his present. But now, we realize that because the show is about nothing but the Flash. Like, everything is Flash, Flash, Flash all the time. So we kind of see the breakdown between all these characters and their relationships and the lack thereof. You should have kept it how it was, girl. Should have kept it how it was, cause Joe was Joe was a terrible father to Iris. Terrible. He lied to her. He be yelling at her. He be he be declining her calls when she don't do what he say. Like he's a terrible. He's a terrible dad daughter. Daughter of a dad. Dad daughter. Whatever. He should have said no. <laughs> he said what about that? You do not have my approval. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> oh my God, that scared me. I'm sorry. Why are they showing this? Okay. 
you don't ever get married. Oh yeah, he is. He was like, what? Okay. What a coincidence. Pause again. What a coincidence. And y'all try to ship this man with anybody else but this black woman. Like, the signs are there. Don't ever get married, Alan. And he's bumping to this bitch. Like, are you serious? Like, the signs are there. Standing at the back page before you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm corny. But, like, come on, y'all. Are you really telling me? You really telling me and my homegirls that this was never supposed to be. Now, in season two, I felt like they were definitely going into a different direction. And if Candace wasn't as popular with the girls as she was, they would have definitely killed her off in season two. Or season three, depending. Uh, because she didn't really have a big role in season two besides asking questions. And sometimes doing her job as a journalist. So that and so, if Candace wasn't that girl and she wasn't as popular as she is, definitely they would have lowered Lancer, definitely. And Barry would have been in love and with and married to somebody else. And all this work that they put into season one of saying that Barry been in love with her since childhood would have went to waste. Okay, so let's give a round of applause for Candace. Because Candace is probably one of the most popular characters in the Arrowverse. She is. And she is. Fight me, bitch. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Because she is. All right? They put all this work into season one. Talking about Barry gonna marry Iris. Barry and Iris, they gonna do this. Just for season two to, like, try to scrap everything. Low key. But they knew that they would have got a fire under their ass. And somebody would have got fired. If they would have lowered Lance Candace Patton. If they would have lowered Lance Iris West. So let's thank Candace Patton for keeping Iris West alive. Let's thank that girl. Because if it wasn't for Candace Patton's portrayal Iris West, we don't know where we would be with Barry and Iris' relationship. Oh, probably the same thing in the trash. But that ain't her fault. That's the writer's fault. They were so cute together. They were so cute as friends, like, why she looking at him like that? Girl, don't be looking at him like that. Why her eyes gotta scan up and down his face? Up and down his face like three times. Look at this. <sighs> Is this how Snowberry Shippers feel? <laughs> oh, they actually used to call each other, okay. They don't do none of that shit now. Iris used to always pop up at his job. She don't do none of that now. Well, she got a job. No, she had a job then with that little Cracker Jack ring. What do you... He is a cop. Because don't they say you got to put like 10%... I don't even know. Why I'm even acting like I know about rings and stuff. But that was a little tiny little ring, girl. <laughs> I'm just saying. Tiny little ring and ugly little till ass box. But you know what? She she loved you besides the money. Because they say cops don't get paid that way. But I think it depends on the district, whatever district you in. Like, or the state, whatever. Oh. Girl, that's not going to be her name. That's an ugly name. Well, Reverse Flash, Reverse Flash probably don't think so. I don't care. Reverse Flash love Iris too. I don't care what nobody say. Reverse Flash... Is evil and diabolical, but I felt like he loved Nora. And I feel like he loved Barry in season one, too. Like, he loved that young version of Barry that didn't know anything. He hates the Barry in the future. Okay? So, I feel like he loved Nora. He loved the young Barry. And I feel like he loved Iris, too, because some... He obsessed with that bitch, too, always popping up and shit. He getting close, almost trying to kill her, but don't, but don't be successful. Like, he could have easily killed her ass. But never be successful with it. Reverse Flash love her ass too, okay? Who don't love her? Everybody love her, except for her dad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and 